So this presentation, I will take you across the one standard deviation, how you can identify a trend and form a zero loss option strategy using the delta neutral approach. So I have just taken the Sun Pharmaceutical Company for that. And I am just going for the September month contract. And I am going to do the trend analysis because we are in the last leg of this August month. So I have just taken I have just taken the September month so that using the September contract we can form some zero loss option strategy. I will demonstrate this thing with our option strategy tool. So this is the option strategy tool we have. So before going to that tool, first we will do some trend analysis. So I have just taken the Sun Pharma 28th September expiry for the month of September. And I am just getting this info. Now it is 497.30. Currently it is 2.89% up from its previous close. And on, upon introspecting its previous one month's data, I am finding out that 427.4 was the low. It has happened on the 14th August and it was the result day for the counter and pretty good number of contracts also was traded on that day so i am just taking the 427.40 and once i am going to this fundamental section i am getting that it is having one annual volatility of 46.39% so this is the annual volatility figure also i am getting here 46.39 though it is not the real time volatility it is just the annual volatility given by the nsc we are 365 days past trailing 365 days data is being taken and from there they have derived it. So 46.39 is the annual volatility. So I am not taking the real time volatility. I am just taking that particular information and making it 46.39. This is the annual volatility in percentage terms. So I am just making one one cycle I have to find out. So I have taken 427.4. This is the first one you have seen here. Low. The monthly low 427.40. So this is the low you have. So 427, 427.40. Monthly low it has made. So on September contract. On the day 14th August. So this is the first cycle is going to complete this low from here if I am counting. The first cycle is going to complete at 471.82 or I can round it to 472. So 472, the first cycle of the uptrend com completes here, post this low and then I will be taking 472 as my next. So I can get the next cycle completes at 700, 521 and in between targets are this one, 490, 495, 90. So the death zone it has crossed over today. So 491 to 496 was my death zone. Currently it is at 97 level. And real time basis if I can say that 495.60 currently it is trading. On 28th August and time around 12.40. So this is the this is the thing it is trading 495.60 it is trading September contract. So, so this is well within the death zone. And here I have two probabilities. Once I am talking about the cycles, this is the first cycle completed 427 to 472. Second cycle is going to complete in till 521. And once it is going above 521, it will be having a level of 575 level also it can say. So 575 level it can, it can make. However, currently 521 it has not come. So 472, whatever the cycle has started, it is in this death zone. So here the trend reversal chances are more. However, this also says that once this level is penetrated successfully, it has the probability to take you to 521. So at this point of time, what kind of strategy we form? So we have two views here. First view, we may reverse back from here or we can cross over this death zone and create a higher level. And once this higher level we are creating, we will be going for 521 level. So this is what the conclusion we are drawing. So we are in the September month. We have not entered. So it is September month is having a expiry till 28th of September. We are in the 28th of August today. One month duration is there. So one calendar month duration is there and in between many trading days are there. 
So now to start off a strategy, I'll be just choosing two strategies. One is a covered put. I'll be forming a covered put strategy. Post I'll be adding some call options. Then I'll make it to a delta zero. So these two things I am making. So currently I am at 595 level. So I am just for making the covered put, I am just selling at 595. So I am just selling the future. So future, future I sold, future sale at 495. So this is what I have done, 495.20. And the nearest strike of option which is catching to my mind for this covered put is 500 put option. So I will be just taking the option, option, stop, Sun Pharma. So Sun Pharma, I am taking the 500 put option of September. So this is the September. So I am just taking 500 put option. 500 put option. So this is for the 500 put option. So this is you are getting 21.15, 21.75. So I am taking that 21.15 suppose if you are selling. So it is 500 put option. 500 put option. So it is you are selling at 21.15. So this is what you are. So this option of 500 put option is having a time value of 21.45 minus 4 rupees 80 paisa because if I take from the future reference, so 4 rupees 80 paisa, it is having 16 rupees 35 paisa as a time value. So by this process 21 rupees, 16 rupees and 35 paisa of time value I am just pocketing. So this is having 800 as lot size so 13,080 rupees I got in terms of time value. So this is covered put. So when you sell a, when you sell a future it has a delta of minus 1 and 500 put option. So that 500 put options delta also we require. So for that I am just taking you to the our Greek scanner facility available in our software. So 500 strike put option which is at 21 rupees you sold. So 500 strike put option what you have sold at 21 rupees it is having 0 0.46, 0 0.44. So this is what the 0 0.46, 0 0.44. So this is the delta you have. So I am just adding that delta here. So I am just adding that delta here. So so that delta, so here you have 0 0.4644. So this is negative. I sold it. Future you sold 500 put option also you sold. So, so by this process what happened? Now the net delta is being reduced to future having minus 1. And this put always used to have a negative delta. However, you sold so that become positive. So net delta is now 0.5. And I will be adding one call load strategy. So preferably I am saying that once it is crossing this level of 498 or 509. So maximum it can go for 521. So I will be focusing on the call strikes of 520. So 520 strike call options I can focus. So I can just go to the 520 call option. So Currently at 8 rupees 50 paisa, 8 rupees 40 and 8 rupees 50 paisa. So I will be just taking that 8 rupees 50 paisa. So I will be buying it. So call load. So 520 call. I am buying. So this is what I am doing. And I am buying this call option. 8 rupees 50 paisa. So this is the price it is. So I will just update this particular value so that I can get a Correct Greek estimation. So I'm just going to my software, Sun Pharma 28th September. I have chosen. I have just loaded the data. So here, so here I'm selling it a lot. So slightly the price is 95 to 94. It has become put up some and 500. So I am thus this also I am selling and call option 520 8 rupees 50 paisa. I need to buy it, but number of lots I have to decide. So this is the so two lots I am currently. So number of days, say maximum 10 trading days, I am going to hold it. Calculate, I am going for the Greek scanner to get the Greek values. So it is having 0.32 as delta. 5, 520 call option is having 0 0.32, 0 0.46. So my estimation is correct. 
so here 0 0.32 point 0 0.3246 this is the delta two lots if i will take i will be having this is the delta and i have a negative delta so if i just add both the things i will be getting near zero delta level 0 0.11 delta will be there so 8.5 i have bought two lots and this is what i have found so it is almost near zero level so once i will do this let me calculate what is the values i have get so here once it comes to 526 level or 521 level so at the end of 10 days if i am going for this 521 level i'll be making a 200 2500 profit and post that my profit is is increasing so 526 32 554 this is the level my profitability is going on however if it is started falling of started falling and as per my trend calculations as per my trend calculations if it is falling to the level of say 479 or entering to 464 and going here so my liabilities what is the liabilities that also i need to see so at the end of 10 days if my value is at 461 463 where my downtrend starts so here so here so up, you are at a uptrend your downtrend start at 465 level so for this particular second cycle Suppose if it is coming to 465 and furthermore it moves down and goes to 422 level. So we will be terminating the trade at 465 level. If it is coming to this level, we will be terminating the trade. So at that particular level, say 461, this is nearest level to that. So it has been calculated based on the real time estimation of volatility. So at that point, I will be having a loss of 750. So if I just compare this thing, so it is almost a zero loss strategy wherein on downtrend you have the 750 rupees range of your losses. However, if it is the same uptrend continues and it crosses 521 and two cycles, first uptrend cycle it has completed, second cycle it is now once it is completing 521, it may move to the third cycle, which is having a pretty good level. You can say 541 to 547 death zone. If it is coming to that 545 to 547 range, then you will be getting a very good profit. 547 will be having a profit near to 15,000. So as compared to this 547 profit estimation, and the 461 loss estimation this is almost a zero loss strategy almost a zero loss strategy and great risk reward is there 750 rupees of risk you are taking at 14000 and plus you are expe expecting in the coming 10 days time if it is giving you a uptrend breakout the more conservative estimate if it is coming to 521 level also You'll be making some 2500 profit so if you compare with the 2500 profit also 750 is a very small amount with this so this is how you should form the this is how you should form the zero loss option strategy using the one standard deviation levels and i am using this software our option strategy software just to demonstrate the profit and loss analysis and it has many other features and if you wish to learn about the option zero loss option strategies and if you want to learn how you can form hybrid option strategies so this strategy is known as a hybrid option strategy so you are loading the call options to bring down the delta you are coming covered put so covered put put strategy you are combining with the call option to bring down the delta and derive a delta neutral strategy so these are many many different hybrid strategies you can form however every strategy must have a logic why you are forming that strategy what is the basis of forming this strategy and based on which indicators you have formed this strategy that is very important why i have formed this strategy because one cycle of downtrend i have Post downtrend, one cycle of uptrend I have completed. I am now moving to the second cycle of the uptrend, which is going to complete. Once it is going to complete, so 472 level, which I 
have started once it is going to complete i am going to see a great level so maybe the third cycles third cycles death zone level 547 to 550 level if it comes i will be highly rewarded if it doesn't come and the trend reverses back then also my damages are limited so this kind of strategies requires that you must learn we have a great course futures and option course along with it is in the hindi and english both editions available so you can learn all those techniques from this course i have to estimate the profit to know a real time estimation of the profit to know the greeks to know the monthly and weekly trends you can use our option strategy software so implement this strategy implement this strategy and see the difference in your trading practice and it you need to pay little margin for that to maintain that strategy so that you need to work out on with your broker so some similar kind of lot of strategies you can find in our youtube channel if you are a regular, regular visitor of our youtube channel you can find out many such strategies and i have also given many strategies momentum option strategies tech mahindra or strategy i have also given a strategy in zero loss option strategy in hindi in same some pharma also i have given one strategy so many strategies you can get in our youtube channel and if you like that whenever we post some strategies you must be informed automatically then you just subscribe to our channel here so once you are subscribing to our channel whenever i upload any video you will be automatically informed so that you will get the information about the video you can learn something new on the market regarding any product queries of the option strategy software or option course you can call to these numbers we have given we have given follow us in the feed, twitter and facebook so this is the most prominent social media platform whenever any kind of video is being released or any kind of strategies are being analyzed so it will be posted in our youtube and facebook if you have followed us you will be informed about that share this video with your friends share this videos with your friends so once you are viewing the video then you will be getting one share share icon so you just share this video with your friends so that they should also get the benefit of learning some useful strategies share this your with your friends so that they must also learn the techniques of making money from the market so you can make money in the market provided your trend analysis must be perfect you must implement it in the right direction in a right manner even though if you fail so here also another thing i just want to make to your point when you implement any strategy the major benefit is that if i win i make a good money if i lose the strategy if my view points go wrong it is in the currently at the second cycle post this it doesn't move it corrects or it consolidates at this level it never moves up never comes down it consolidates or if it is for the coming 10 days period it moves down and come to the downtrend level in that also the impact the losses will be minimal so that will be the objective of forming your strategy that will be the objective of your forming your strategy when the decision goes wrong it must impact you very less if the decision goes as per our anticipation we must be rewarded with good profit so that will be the objective of the zero loss strategy for us keep implementing this strategy any feedbacks anything you want to know more about this strategy any doubts about this particular strategy keep posting your emails to our email id